Hi guys, uh, not sure if you can hear me well, but I'm setting up VVT on a 1GR engine with a Haltech Elite 2500. Now, what you're looking at here is an oscilloscope of the passenger side cam angle sensor. Now, the relevance of this is the driver's side cam angle sensor is used in the Elite for the home signal. Now the Elite has a one crank signal which is called your ref or reference and it has one home signal which is called your home which resets the zero degree mark for the ECU every two rotations of the crank. Now that's all well and good on an inline but now we've got ourselves a V and we need a reference for the other engine uh, the other camshaft Haltech have luckily given us a SPI a synchronous pulsed input that we can use for that now for better or worse we don't have a threshold setting to set up the voltages in which this Hall effect signal is considered active and when this Hall effect signal is considered inactive. So what I've done is, and it will be hard to see, I've got a pull-up resistor which is effectively adjusting these signals. So when I adjust this pull-up you will see the on and off voltages creep. That allows me to adjust the Hall effect on and Hall effect off voltages instead of what would much easily have been achieved by entering some numbers into the software. Um, but I guess it's just a exercise in working out how to do things with what you've got. Now, the SPI input for on is two volts. And if that's our zero mark there, you're looking at one volt, two volts. So this waveform, and I'll just uh, widen that out a touch, might even go again. You can see that waveform is on at about one to three volts and it's off at roughly maybe you would even say half a volt now having spoke to Haltech I know that the on voltage is two or the threshold for the elite is two for an SPI synchronous pulsed input and the off voltage is one now I previously wasn't making the off voltage due to the pull-up, the internal pull-up resistor on the Haltech not doing a good enough job. And if you have a look at this, see that? That's, that's where it was sitting and it was never reaching one volt for an off. So I can adjust it over here. You'll see my cam timing went crazy here on, on this graph here. Although you can't really see that green line. Um, so while this cam here, which is the driver's side, it worked fine originally because the voltage thresholds on a on the home input are scalable and, and much better defined because people use that for triggering so they have to be. Whereas probably something that will get fixed in the future, an SPI which is required for um, a V configuration dual VVT, they're not as detailed or as well thought out so it's it's caught me out here and what I've had to do is obviously implement this uh, pull-up resistor now I'm hoping you can see this um, but I'm going to change my cam setting and, and we're just chilling out here we're at 10 degrees advanced that's why it's a bit lumpy by the way but I'm gonna put this to zero and you'll watch the target and the actual change. And I'm hoping you can see the green and the red there. But both of them, they respond quite well. And I'm gonna go back up to 10 to show you 
how they respond. Obviously that's a really, really good uh, response from a step input. Um, typically you wouldn't really see a step input like that. You will, would likely see um, a sl slower increase instead of a massive jump because if you look at this map here, you'll see that there's no big jump from any given cell. So basically I've tuned the PID control of the closed loop VVT to maintain this quite fast response and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll find out shortly when I put it on the, on the dyno we'll be able to maintain that and uh, basically have this vehicle or engine running really really well with dual VVT like Toyota did thanks guys um, if you can like my YouTube channel and find Broadtune on Facebook thanks for watching